Kundig v. Broadbent, fax. Mr. Kundig entered into an agreement with Broadbent to sell his land to Broadbent. Mr. Kundig's attorney prepared a written agreement. Later, Mr. Kundig asked for more money for the property, and Mr. Kundig's attorney prepared another written agreement with the higher price. The two entered into a contract. Afterwards, Mrs. Kundig was appointed Mr. Kundig's guardian and asked the court to rescind the contract. At trial, two psychologists testified that Mr. Kundig was confused and had poor judgment. Issue. Does the mental capacity to contract depend upon whether the allegedly disabled person possess sufficient reason to enable Enable him to understand the nature and effect of the act in issue? Holding, yes. The mental capacity to contract depends upon whether the allegedly disabled person possessed sufficient reason to enable him to understand the nature and effect of the act in issue. Analysis. Mr. Kundig possessed sufficient reason to enable him to understand the nature and effect of the act in issue because he contacted his lawyers twice to draft the contract and he raised the price on the land after the first draft of the contract. Average intelligence is not essential to a valid bargain. Please like, subscribe, comment, and support me. The link is in the description box.